In our community, we don't talk about those things. It's like, it's almost as if it's like shame, like, oh, you don't want to talk about sickness. You don't want to talk about being hurt. You don't want to talk about anything bad, but that's not good. We need to talk to each other and share experiences so we can learn from each other. For years, my dad was the rock. He was the one taking care of my mom. She had developed some memory problems for years, but it, it seemed harmless. She just was forgetful, things she had to repeat over and over again, but my dad was the rock. So it wasn't until three years ago when I realized my dad was also starting to have memory problems. And so at that point, uh, myself and my, my siblings, we had to get involved to say, hey, what's going on here? You know, I have three siblings, and so we were a very good team because each one had certain strengths and weaknesses, and, and we would take care of those duties. They were able to fill in by taking care of my mom certain days of the week when they could, or taking vacation days and taking care of my mom. So we were all trading days when we were taking care of my mom. You can't just devote all your time to the person, you know, all your time and your mental energy and your emotions. Um, you have to still live your own life. And so um, I think it's helped with my relationship with my husband, taking care of my own home. My main frustration was with the medical system, the hospitals, and what, what uh, treatments are covered and what aren't. You know, I'm talking about my dad when he was in the hospital uh, that um, I thought I learned about Medicare. For long-term care, they only cover 100 days. After that, you're on your own. So I was kind of worried about that. But in the hospital, the patient next to me, the, the, the wife said, hey, you know, you can get beyond 100 days. And so she introduced me to a, a consultant who was able to help me qualify my parents for Medi-Cal. And you know, I, had, I didn't even know what that was. Um, but you know, if I had known about that maybe prior to that, we could have kind of got those things started so that more of their um, medical bills could be covered. So there's not a lot of dementia care at my mom's hospital but she still goes in for checkups and annual geriatric interviews and that sort of thing. And so, you know, we, we've been paying full, full for all these co-pays and stuff. And then suddenly I realized, hey, maybe I should get her uh, registered or with, with Medi-Cal through Kaiser. And so, you know, what, what we as just regular people don't know is that there are benefits or there are coverages that, that the government does have for you. But if you don't apply for it, if you don't know about it, you're just going to get billed and you're going to pay for it. The advice that I'd give to other caregivers is to um, communicate with others, to talk to others, especially in our, uh, you know, Nikkei community. When you talk about people being sick or uh, get hurt, it's so private. You know how people say, hey, how are you doing? And everyone says, oh, fine, thanks. Well, I, if they ask me, I'm going to tell them. I go, life is good, but, you know, I'm having to take care of my mom, and it's kind of a stressful situation. So I'll tell them, so people know that this is happening. The more you talk about what's going on with your own parents, your own elderly parents, the more you find out your friends uh, have the same experience or are currently going through the same experience. It may be always in a different way. Being afraid to ask about dementia, being afraid to ask about, you know, your own loved one and perhaps they need help. And, you know, that, that's a problem. You, you, you need to open up. You need to ask. You need to get help. Even if you don't want to talk to people you know, uh, call, call um, like the Alzheimer's hotline or go to your, um, hospital and find out about programs where you can learn about it. Once I discovered my parents had dementia and I had to become personally involved, I realized that there's so many other people out there that are also having the same situation where they're taking care of their elderly parents. And so it's one of those things where, you know, if you, you've never experienced, you don't know anything about it. But once you get involved in it, 
you, found out, you find out there's so many other people that are also in the same situation.